Hey guys, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here today. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some Easter Bunny DIYs that I really hope you enjoy. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing and also giving me a big thumbs up as that really helps me out here on YouTube. And now let's jump right into the DIYs. This first bunny is using a very unusual item. So I have a Dollar Tree wreath form, some Dollar Tree socks, which is our unusual item, and also some yarn. This is from a craft store, but Dollar Tree does sell some yarn. So now I'm going to take my socks and I'm going to place them over the ears. I'm going to make sure that the heel of my sock is in the back of the bunny's ear and pull the sock all the way down. Now I'm doing this just to see where I need to cut I make a small slit. I'm going to remove the sock from the ear and finish cutting all the way through the sock. And then I am going to replace the sock onto the bunny's ear. Make sure that it is pulled snugly and glue down the front side. And then I'm going to flip it over and glue down the back side. And I'm also going to tack those little heels down with some glue too, so that they are not sticking out all wonky. And then I'm going to flip this back over and our ears are already done. Next, I'm going to easily wrap this whole thing in the yarn that I showed you, again, from a craft store. But you can use whatever yarn or ribbon or twine that you like. Just glue it down and wrap it all the way around. The only tricky part, and it's not even tricky, is when you get back to the top and there's only two rungs there. I just wrap the two rungs as you can't reach that third rung where the sock is in the way. So you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. But again, that is super easy and that little gap that is left will be covered up by our embellishments. So here is what I mean at the top and just wrapping the two bottom rungs as I can't really reach under the sock for that third rung but same concept just wrapping all the way around and then it is time to add my embellishments. For my embellishments, I'm going to use some lamb's ear that you can purchase at Walmart and some tiny little pink flowers. I actually cut this off of a lighted headband from Dollar Tree last spring, but any flowers you like would be pretty. I almost wish I had some of those um, foam roses that Dollar Tree sells at Valentine's Day left over. Those would be perfect too. So basically just whatever you have in your stash, just arrange it and glue it down. So I first laid out my greenery and then I laid out these little roses and I just think this is so pretty to give this sweet little bunny a headband and then I did decide it needed a little something more so I did take one of those discarded pieces of sock and just bunch it up in my fingers then tie it tightly in the middle with a piece of that yarn and this gave me an adorable fluffy little bow that matched my ears and I just attached that off to the side on the bottom just to give it a little embellishment you could put it right in the middle or however you like. I then added a little yarn bow in the middle of that and I just think that this is so adorable. It was so inexpensive and easy to make and I love the idea of using some leftover socks and these work so well to cover up these ears. Let me know what you think about this idea down below in the comments and let's move into our next DIY. This is so quick and easy. If you blink you may miss it but I think it is absolutely adorable. So I have this little basket from Dollar Tree. They have several different types and color combinations. I have these little bunnies from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going to snip that little hanger that is at the top of my bunny off. Be careful, it may fly when you use your scissors. Then I'm going to position my two bunnies facing each other, add some hot glue to their heads, and I'm going to set my basket on top. That is how easy this is, so fun to make, and you can fill it with eggs or carrots. I think this is so precious. I did go back and paint my bunnies with some Waverly White chalk paint, as I like that color better, but here's what it looks like. Every month on the first, my friend Brendan and I host an open challenge. It is always so much fun and we love to see what all of our friends create. So this month, Brenda is the host over at Rustic and Lace DIY. You'll have to check her out. She is so talented and such a sweet person. And we'll also have a playlist of other creators that are sharing some Easter inspiration with you. I will have that linked in my description box. You definitely want to check that out. 
So here is another fun DIY. And for this one, we're going to begin with Dollar Tree's largest wreath form, but there are several sizes if you want to go smaller. I wrap it in a ribbon that I purchased from the Dollar Tree Plus section, this beautiful blue check ribbon. And then I'm just going to lightly wrap the other half with this nice, beautiful burlap and green ribbon that I also purchased from the Dollar Tree Plus section. I wasn't as worried about that side because it's mostly going to be covered. And my blue check ribbon is going Going to show. I created a bow by just folding my ribbon over until I had two loops on either side, trimming off the excess, pinching it tightly in the middle, and tying it with a piece of Dollar Tree twine. This is going to be the base of my super large bow. I do love this ribbon. I believe it was $5 in the plus section, but it's quite thick and you get quite a bit of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and fluff my sides out, and then this part of the bow is ready. I'm going to glue it down where my two ribbons meet and then I'm going to take this beautiful blue and white check ribbon and I'm going to make a smaller bow with three loops on either side folding over like so and cinching in the middle tying tightly once that is done I'm going to take that bow and place it the opposite direction on top of the first bow fluffing it out nicely I think this looks super cute and I do love that stacked bow look so I'm just trimming off the excess and then gluing this little bow down on top of my larger bow so here is how that looks and once that is done we can begin all of the embellishment fun i'm honestly just going to be using some extras that i had in my stash i had a few carrots extra these come six to a pack so i actually these are the larger ones i'm sorry they come four to a pack but you could use smaller ones if you wanted so i'm just going to glue these ones down kind of no rhyme or reason two toward the bottom one at the top and then i'm going to take some beautiful fluffy roses that i purchased at hobby lobby 50% off but Dollar Tree also has some beautiful florals that you could use. I just had these on hand and I'm just going to glue them down around my carrots. I'm going to kind of glue a smaller rose right next to a bigger rose. I think that is cute. I had an extra bunny butt pick so I snapped off the pick part. This is from Dollar Tree. They come with pink and blue feet. These feet were actually blue but I painted them pink. I had a couple of pink twine eggs from Dollar Tree that also came on wooden stakes which I broke off and I'm going to place one toward the top one toward the bottom now I'm going to come in with some more of this greenery this particular greenery comes on a long trailing swag from Hobby Lobby you can purchase it 50% off and I love to do that and just snip little pieces here and there it lasts a long time but Dollar Tree has greenery as well I just think that this particular greenery is so pretty and this is such a inexpensive way to get a large bunch of it so here is my wreath here's what it looks like and remember if this is too large for you, you could do it on a smaller scale as well. I hope that you like this one. Okay, let's jump into our next Dollar Tree DIY. It's gorgeous bunny using Dollar Tree items. I have this large Dollar Tree bunny from the plus section. This quick cover from the Dollar 25 section. I'm going to remove the bunny's tail and also that beaded hanger. And I am going to remove the lettering from the front of my bunny with my Dollar Tree scraper. You could heat up the lettering with your heat gun and then just scrape it off. I also removed the bunny's bow tie. I'm going to lay my bunny on top of this quick cover and trace around it. Once that is done, I will cut it out and then I can apply it to the front of my bunny. I am going to remove the adhesive part of this quick cover from the backing and place it down on top of my bunny and smooth it out. I will be cutting a slit right down the neck so that I can place this quick cover in two pieces. This allows me to smooth it out better and also have more control over placement. That area will be covered as I'm going to wrap a strip of ribbon around that area to create kind of a collar that I'm going to place a bow on. I take some ribbon and go around so that I have two loops on either side. I'll also cut a spare piece that I can use for tails and I'm going to take a piece of burlap and fold that over so I can make a double stack bow. I tie everything tightly in the middle with a piece of twine and remove the excess of my twine. I'm going to glue my bow down right on top of that collar and I will be dovetailing these bow tails and I do that by folding the tail over and cutting a triangle upward for a nice boutique finish. I'm going to add back on that little bunny's tail with some hot glue and here's what it looks like so quick 
easy and adorable. It's also very customizable to your style. Dollar Tree sells several different types of quick cover. If you didn't care for this one or you could use scrap it paper, the sky is really the limit. Okay, here's an idea. I'm going to show you what I did with this beautiful rabbit wreath form from the Dollar Tree, or Benny wreath form, I guess I should say. So this wreath form does come with this metal, these metal pieces on it, um, kind of like a metal fencing. And so I just snipped it off all the way around and just removed it. It's super flimsy. It is not hard to remove at all. And then I am just going to add some some beautiful flowers. Now I purchased these a few years ago at Michael's on clearance, but Dollar Tree does have some really pretty flowers. So does Walmart. So does Hobby Lobby. You can purchase 50% off, but I'm just alternating my flowers and adding some smaller ones toward the bottom um, so that I have a nice little swooping downward effect. And then I'm adding these little pearl like flowers that I also found at Michael's to either side. I guess they're not really flowers. Pearl like strands I should say but Dollar Tree does sell pearls too and here's some ribbon from Dollar Tree I'm just gonna make some cute little bows for my bunny's ears I'm just gonna fold the ribbon over until I have three loops on either side then I will zip tie the middle I'm actually going to add a little strip for tails too before I zip tie but that's totally optional you don't have to have tails if you do not want them once that is complete, I'm going to take another strand of the ribbon and go around the middle of my bow, just gluing it down, wrapping it around, gluing it down again, and trimming off the excess so that ugly little zip tie is covered up. And then my adorable little bow can be attached to the top of my bunny's ear. And of course, of course, I'm going to do this on both of my bunny's ears. So this is so cute, so customizable, and a great idea if you don't like that metal look on the inside although here in a minute I am going to give you another idea on how you can leave that inside of your wreath form and still make it look really pretty personally I am just a sucker for these soft pinks and creams and I think that this is just so beautiful and delicate okay here is an idea this adorable bunny is using a plus item as well, but it's still very inexpensive for the size. This large wreath with some chicken wire mesh in the middle was only $5, and I found this pair of towels at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I thought they were so cute, and one of the dish towels is plain with no design on it. So that one I am going to trace out around this bunny, and I'm going to glue it down to the back of the bunny so you can see it through through the mesh. There's many different ways that you could use the mesh on this bunny. You could fill it with flowers. You could remove it if you don't like it. I just thought that this dishcloth looks so pretty through the mesh. So here's what this looks like after I glued down my dish towel. Next, I'm going to create a bow with some burlap I had on my stash, just folding it over and tying it tightly in the middle with some jute twine. I used some pretty ribbon that I purchased at Walmart to make a bow to go on top like you see here and dovetail the ends. I glued my smaller bow on top of my larger bow and then I also purchased these flowers at Walmart very inexpensively and I just popped them off of that stem and I'm going to be gluing some on either side of the bow kind of catty cornered and here is what that looks like. So again, the sky is the limit with this beautiful wreath form and all of the things that you can do with it. Such a great deal for only $5. So I really hope that you enjoy that. DIY and let's go ahead and jump into our next one. So I'm going to take another bunny wreath form from Dollar Tree, some florals, which again I purchased at Michael's a couple years ago, but there are lots of places to get good florals. And this craft cord that I purchased at Hobby Lobby near the jute. Also some scrapbook paper that I purchased at Hobby Lobby, but pretty much any craft store sells scrapbook paper. Even Dollar Tree is starting to sell some scrapbook paper. So 
I'm going to take this blue cord and I'm going to glue it down and wrap it all the way around my wreath form. Now you could use twine, you could use yarn, you could use ribbon, use whatever you like. I just think that this is really pretty and it's softer than twine so I really like working with it. Again, you can find it at Hobby Lobby. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap all the way around. Then I add hot glue to the back and I set it on top of my scrapbook paper. I am then going to trim around so that my scrapbook paper is cut out. Next I will trace around my bunny's ears and I will cut that out of the scrapbook paper. I will glue that like so so my pretty design is facing forward. Then flipping that over this is what you have so far. Next of course I'm going to trim out those ears with some more of this cord and I'm going to go around each ear twice just to cover up any extra paper or any glue mess so I kind of go around on the inside of the wire and also the outside of the wire like you can see me doing here just be careful of your fingers and use some finger protectors if you have them so here's what this looks like and here is going around the second time just to make sure everything is nice and cleaned up we also want to make sure that our paper is attached nicely so it doesn't come off and of course this will be an indoor wreath but I think it is so pretty for a wall or above a vignette so here's what this looks like then I'm just going to take a little strip and put it across the bottom of the ear where it meets the head just to clean up any mess that may be there of course we repeat this on the other side of the ear and now I'm just going to create my bow here by taking some ribbon that you can find at Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby usually has has their ribbon 40 to 50 percent off and looping it over twice pinching it in the middle and here is what that looks like you can tie it with a zip tie or some twine or yarn or whatever you like and then glue it down and fluff it out so here's what we have so far now I'm taking my little florals and I did misspeak earlier. I said that I got these florals at Michael's and I did not. I just realized these are actually from Hobby Lobby and the wedding section. Although I'm sure Michael's has similar. In Hobby Lobby's wedding section, sometimes those florals are on sale when the regular florals are not. So that is something to keep in mind. I'm just laying my florals how I like them and I tie them on so I don't have to use as much hot glue. And this is how I'm able to reuse my florals florals over and over. Next I decided that my bow needed some tails so I just glued on a couple of extra strips of ribbon and of course I dovetailed that which means I folded my ribbon over and cut a triangle upward then just use a tiny dab of hot glue to tack my tails down where I wanted them and this is what we have so far. Next, I did decide to make some cute little jute twine bows and glue them to the top of my ears. And I also added one to the middle of that larger bow. And here is my adorable bunny. I think that she is so pretty and so sweet. And I really hope that you like her too. Remember, this is very customizable to your colors, your floral choices, and your scrapbook pattern that you like. Let me know if you're going to recreate this one and what your favorite DIY was was today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you. Again, if you're new to my channel, please join us by subscribing and also giving me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube. I appreciate each and every one of you. Take care, friends. I will see you soon.